Hey, 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 Dr. Gallagher. All set for today? Hang on, Dr. Gallagher. Stick this round your neck. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> well, your dad phoned me and he wants me to send a photo. Of what? I'm only going in for a tour. Now, Manpreet is going to meet you outside at two. What suit's he got? Oh, yes, it's uh, Rona's hen do, isn't it? Apparently, they're all going to go dressed as farm animals. Oh. Susie, what are you going as? Oh, this is Vanessa's. She's going as a sheep. I'm just going to be lingering in the background, making sure all the party games go to plan. What? No drinking on a hen do? Bad decision. I'm sure that Susie's more than capable of showing everyone how to party. So Jacob is spending the day at Hot & General? Oh, I hope it's nothing too painful. Oh, he's got a place to study medicine there, little clever cogs. Only if I get my A-levels. It's just for a tour. Oh, congrats. Well, I hope you get to see some exciting cases. Yeah, me too. Oh, and good luck with the hen day. Yeah, I just need to sort through this lot with Vanessa and then we're going to head on up there. Let the chaos commence. You ready? Yep. Let's do this. Is there a problem, officer? I hope not. I don't think I was speeding, was I? I'd advise you to leave the questions to me. Name? Susie Merton. Would you mind stepping out of your vehicle, Ms Merton? <laughs> From Brown this way, Ms Merton. No, other side of Hotton. And, uh, where have you been? Helping out with a hen do in Emmerdale. <laughs> I know it well. So, have you had anything to drink today? I just told you I've been working. Helping everybody else party. Look, can I ask what this is about? Only the last time I checked, you couldn't just stop somebody without reasonable grounds. Mind if I take a look inside? Look, what exactly is it you're looking for? Whatever you think you're going to find. May I? Be my guest. <laughs> well, look what we've got here. Dabbled you? Yeah, I used to, years ago. <laughs> That's the second case of mistaken identity that I've had to deal with today. Sorry to have taken so much of your time up. Where's it gone? It was in Susie's car. I went to put something in the boot and then um, well, there it was. So now you can take it and, you know, get out of my office and get out of my life. It's not that simple, though, is it? Tell him. Get out before I call the police. And say what? That you've changed your mind about minding my stash? And what about your husband? Doubt he'll be too impressed to hear what you've been getting up to. He wouldn't believe you. Wouldn't he? That's a risk you're willing to take, is it? All I'm saying, Leila, is that actions have consequences. And you need to keep that in the forefront of your pretty little mind. Yeah, I never wanted anything to do with this. And yet you took my money anyway. So, unless you want to give that back... I'll take what I need now and leave the rest with you. And it's just a thought, but... You might want to find somewhere a little more secure to stash it going forward. Don't be upset. I'm just trying to run a business, same as you. We good? Yeah. Here. This one's on me. Not such a bad boss after all, am I? I'll be in touch. <laughs> 